Virgin Media Shorts, championing undiscovered talent. We're here on the red carpet at the Virgin Media Shorts Awards with Shane Meadows. Hello. Shane, you started your career making short films. Uh, so clearly, is this a good way of getting into the industry? Yeah, I mean, I started, uh, it's 20 years next year that I made my first short film, but back in 94. Um, and within six months, of, I made a film every month for six months because I knew the first ones would be a bit rubbish. And um, six months later, I made a film called Where's the Money Ronnie, which I entered for a short film competition, sent it off to London in a little jiffy bag. And, um, and then I think it was about two weeks after I sent it, I got a call from a producer in Hollywood who was one of the judges in the competition and he ended up uh, producing my first feature film. So, you know, whether it was complete luck or whether the guys who entered this competition, so, you know, suddenly my life completely transformed. So I went from being on the dole to uh, making a film with Bob Hoskins about six months after I entered a, a short film competition. So it definitely, you know, changed uh, my life completely. So if I wasn't here to support the same sort of thing, then I'd be doing something wrong, I think. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Now, your shortest film is only 40 seconds long and shot on a mobile phone. It's one of the, it's one of the attractions of short films, the fact that there are sort of no rules as to what you can do. Yeah, completely. I mean, I've got, uh, I think my longest short is 60 minutes, uh, and they work, like you say, right the way back to uh, 40 seconds where two people bang heads on a staircase. Um, and, yeah, the, be the beautiful thing about shorts is you, you can kind of create a perfect film. You can create a sketch of a character you've got an idea for um, you know I would class some of the uh, pop videos I've made as little short films and there's um, whereas with a feature film if people go to see a feature and it turns out to be 78 minutes they're like thinking I paid eight quid I should get two back because everyone thinks in the head it has to be 90 uh, you know if they get two hours it's value if they get three they're bored it's like this with feature films there's this very strange rigid structure that people have expectations but with short films um, it can show a real gift in a lot of areas because knowing how to tailor, you know, some films couldn't be features, they, they would have to be. And I think a lot of the examples of, of what I've watched and, you know, what we've been judging in here it show that, you know, the format of uh, making a film in, in small form um, can tell stories that no other form can tell. Now, your early films, your early films, suffered from a lack of distribution, so no one could see them. Is that why you're championing the Virgin Media Shorts? Yeah, completely, because, you know, I mean, I'm not, you know, there's no blame to be apportioned, you know, I, you know, ultimately some of my early films, some don't do well, some do well, you know, it, like, I couldn't put my finger on what was different about how they released Dead Man Shoes or This Is England to how they released 24-7 or Romeo Brass, sometimes things just ignite, but the, the, the main thing that attracted me to this was that what they were giving the filmmakers tonight was a sense of that, you know, look, I mean, there's got a red carpet, there's photographs of them up the size of a wall, and they're watching it on an IMAX screen. That's kind of saying, it's a big statement. And I, and I can remember, I came down um, in 95 to this award ceremony, like literally, my mum and dad dropped me off at the train station at a tractor, kind of vibe, you know, this bumpkin from nowhere, came to London, you know, got a cheque for 5,000 quid. I was living on 28 quid a week at the time and was sat in the Groucho Club drinking wine that was more expensive than any meal I'd ever eaten in my life. <laughs> and it was like, it kind of blew my mind, you know, and obviously, you know, none of that means anything, but at the same time, I had one incredibly special night where I felt really special and I felt like I was at Cannes or I felt like I was in Hollywood or, you know, they, you know, and obviously it wasn't, it wasn't even on this scale. So when I heard that they were setting, you know, great big red carpet up and, and making the people feel like stars, then that's brilliant, you know, because short films tend to get sidetracked and people tend to sort of go, oh, they're just shorts, or, but tonight it's about them and it's about their films and they're being made a real fuss of. Listen, Shane, thank you very much. Enjoy the night. Virgin Media Shorts, championing undiscovered talent.